What up, family? What they say? Good morning, Vietnam. Oh, family. I looked at my calendar, and tomorrow, December the 7th, 2020, is supposed to be Pearl Harbor Day in USA, United Snakes of America. You know, I'll be catching hell just like the people doing, you know, the Vietnam War. And they said, you know, that they didn't even strike first. You understand what I'm saying? It kind of reminded me of when uh, Tupac said, you know, we hadn't even done nothing, you know, to America for them or whoever, for them to be coming after us and stuff, for real. You know, I was looking at my video when um, the police in 2018, since I've been in this trap building, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. Mm-hmm. Apartment 308. You know, I was going to my AA meetings, staying sober, and of course they had somebody who wasn't even an AA member probably, you understand what I'm saying? Get on my nerves and stuff after I've been a member, you know, for more than two decades or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, they always got put in that work, right? You understand what I'm saying? On real motherfuckers and shit. It's all about that money, property, and prestige. But, you know, if the bombs drop, <laughs> it's going to even matter. Y'all little guns and your right to uh, bear arms and militias ain't going to be shit. You know, my higher power prepared for me. And the enemy did too. But for some reason or another, they don't believe my higher power is real. And I keep Showing these motherfuckers on a regular, every day, even on Walt Disney's birthday and my so-called foster father, who was probably a retired police officer, you understand what I'm saying? And, um, which was December the 5th, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, I went to the Goodwill store. I didn't go to, uh, the Walt Disney's store downtown in my city, Chicago, to get this here. I did not go down there because mm -mm. see we ain't got money to give to motherfuckers that's trying to kill us i supposed to pay for my own demise i don't think so i paid a whole two dollars and some change for this here because i am the originator of rap and you know you know that's a microphone i've been the originator of rap since 1975 but most definitely 1973 when i stood up for myself as always you understand what i'm saying for real because i was tired of being taken advantage of, beaten on, and abused by motherfuckers who think they shit don't stink. And I don't give a fuck what color they are. They trying to, you know, put real motherfuckers in the house and shit. And they robbing me. It's Christmas time about now. I'll be out there back in the day, you know, out there being independent, making money, you know. You know, see, they want to eliminate the competition. You know, I just got through listening to uh, R. Kelly interview. For 45 minutes, he... um. He sung his life story or whatever and stuff like that. And, you know, that was the first time I seen that video. And he did a McDonald's commercial, man. I'm going to put all the links in this video. And I'm going to call it Bombs Away. I dare you. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And I'm daring my motherfucking enemies now. And I dare you to put your fucking hands on me and shit. I don't give a fuck if you put up, turn up, or fucking goddamn it. Show me your fucking ass. Just don't fucking touch me. Real fucking talk. I don't give a fuck who you are. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. Because there's enough of this bullshit. Because, see, you trying to come for me and the last of what I fucking goddamn work my ass off for. Now, I'm not trying to hold on to anything because you can't take nothing into heaven. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. And I ain't coming in this fucking world with anything. But, goddamn it, what's mine is mine. It's not yours. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not, you going, what you going to do? Shoot me in the back? You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not adhering to no bullshit. I heard Mr. Go back in the day when he said, you know, uh, police kill niggas at night, not at night. Niggas kill niggas at night. It's nighttime. I'm finna go out and see if I can die before motherfucking goddamn it tomorrow and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. Nigga, I, I'm used to working from, from can't see morning to can't see night. You understand what I'm saying? For all you slave ass motherfuckers and shit. Real fucking talk for myself. And walking away with a grip and shit. And R. Kelly talked about him not making much money. Then he came up with this McDonald's song and shit. And he said they just start pouring it in. This should have been a McDonald's anthem. 
That's how good it was. You understand what I'm saying? But you got to remember, it started with the rap, the real uh, McDonald anthem. Two off beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese on his whatever, whatever, on sesame seed. But, nigga, it's been a while since that rap, rap McDonald's, you know. But if I can remember the majority of it, nigga, and hmm, that let you know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to step y'all fucking game up. Well, so, so, you know, you got people who follow them all footsteps and, you know, they wanted to be the greatest. You know, and I ain't got a problem with that. You understand what I'm saying? We all great until y'all motherfuckers make a mistake and think I'm a nobody and shit. And I made you motherfuckers great by being patient or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. Meaning, waiting to see if you niggas will acknowledge yourselves as a real motherfucker and shit. Most of these motherfuckers have been to the war, been this, been that. And, you know, when it came down to really for reals, it's like, were they really any of that? Or were they just, you know, kind of, you know, feeding off my energy and shit. You understand what I'm saying? You know, everybody want to be somebody till it's time to boss the fuck up and shit. Then them motherfuckers be like, no, I think I'd just rather be a worker and shit. That's too much work and shit. Trying to be a boss and shit. You understand what I'm saying? See, it costs to be the boss. And these motherfuckers still ain't talking about they the boss. How the hell are you going to be a thief and a boss, motherfucker? You understand what I'm saying? Klepto-ass, maniac-ass motherfuckers. So, in the movie Walk the Line, Johnny Cash... You know, he really liked it as his, you know, one singer or whatever and stuff. And, you know, she kept t- telling him no, 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 no. He was whining like a little bitch and shit, trying to get her love and affection and shit, you know. And he started doing drugs and all kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Feeling sorry for himself. See, this is the season where people start feeling sorry for themselves. Oh, pour me, pour me another fucking drink. Pour your own goddamn sorrows. Because we don't drink drugs or smoke in this goddamn room right here. Or fornicating. We ain't begging for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Not even my life, motherfucker. The only time I said, please don't kill me, is when a motherfucking goddamn it guy... And this girl, white girl, let me tell you the truth and stuff. I was at this party and stuff, right? I had a, you know, nice little chain on, had a few dollars or whatever, looking good, had a nice little car. Back then, I was able to carry a gun or whatever and stuff. You know, I wasn't no killer or nothing and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But I could have been that night. I'm going to show you who the fuck I am and why I should have been the police. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got good goddamn common sense, right? Now, I was in a fucking bathroom at this party day party and stuff, right? And I had met this girl. I said, hey, you know, we got to talking white girl or whatever and stuff. And, you know, I was supposed to be going back to her crib or whatever and stuff. I said, well, let me use the bathroom. And something told me, you know, to put my money in my sock and keep about $10 and shit in my pocket. I'm telling you the truth. So if you bitches run up on me trying to rob me, I guarantee ain't going to be no please don't kill me and shit. Real fucking talk. So, you know, I went and followed the girl, you know, in her car, whatever fuck. You understand what I'm saying? You know, finna go to a house or whatever and stuff. It's a white girl, real motherfucking tall. And, um, you know, I parked and she, it was like a little gangway or whatever, like a back door, couple of steps down into, you know what I'm saying? And this black guy came out of nowhere and he had a gun. And, you know, he was like, give me your money and your jewelry. And I believe it was a setup because I was looking at, looking at it all, at all, at the all times, right? I was looking at it all along and shit, I should say. And further down, it was some people, you know, and I noticed them, but the car was like adjacent. My car was adjacent to her, you know, her doorway. It was like off the street, but you had to go down a few, couple of stairs, but it was like, you know, it was a setup, nigga. Let's put it like that. And, you know, and I was like, please don't kill me. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't say it because of me. I said it because of that white girl. Because every time niggas is around white girls and shit happens, yeah, Mm mm-hmm, yeah, shit happens, nigga. So, you know, I gave the dude the $10, and I had a silver chain. The police got got one of them motherfuckers, you know, May 31st, 2008 from me. You know, it seemed like, you know, just don't want me to have nothing and shit, you know. I could have got it again when I came in in the area over three years ago in this area or whatever and stuff. But I ain't even get the motherfucker shit. Fuck, I was like, yeah, I ain't finna keep running the same script, bitch. So you can continue to rob me, faggots. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, she gave what she had. And, you know, I just gave what I had of his stuff. And the dude walked away. Now the car is right there. And all I had to do was 
you know, go to the car, get my gun, and I could have shot that motherfucker in his back on some real motherfucking shit. But I was like, you know, go ahead and shit. But bitch, today, I don't got a gun. I ain't got no white girl by my side. And I'm going to fuck outside. And I wish one of you bitches would run up on me. If you ain't no killer, nigga, stay the fuck with my motherfucking face. I'm telling you. Because I'm going with more than $10, bitch. Real fucking talk. I'm going to walk my city with whatever the fuck I want to walk with. You understand what I'm saying? And it's crackheads and dope fiends in this building and fucking agents and all kind of motherfuckers and shit. You understand what I'm saying? If today was your last day, motherfucker, that's what they said in the movie Walk the Line. What song would you sing? And you know which one I would sing. Time and time again, motherfucker. The one that the fucking goddamn church apostolic church of God on 61st in Dorchester or 63rd in Dorchester. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I gave them that song because the police kept taking stuff from me and stuff. And I wanted them to hold on to that song. You understand what I'm saying? And when I asked for it back, them motherfuckers act like I never gave it to them. But you know how I know they got it? Because I went the next Sunday after I dropped it in the collection plate and they ain't know my shit, nigga. I went the next Sunday and, you know, Brazier, you know, had his children singing as if it was a competition. Nigga, this ain't no competition. This for real. If this was your last motherfucking goddamn day on earth, Brazier, would you sing my song? That's all I want to know. See, they running out of jokes. They running out of songs. They running out of good material and shit. And all I've been doing is pumping that shit in. And they fucking facing shit. And they like, oh, I can't wait till she dies so I can steal this, this, and this. Like, they always been stealing. But this time, I'm not going by myself. It's going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah all around the world. You ain't going to be able to grow a fucking mustard seed plant, nigga. You ain't going to be able to grow nothing. You understand what I'm saying? See, I believe today. And I ain't got to go to church to prove it, motherfucker. All I got to do is go outside, come back in this motherfucker, or die trying like fucking motherfucking goddamn it, 50 Cent said. But what I, what I ain't going to be is a hostage in my own goddamn city. No. Nah. So for all the people that supposed to have died or not, I don't know, because books, movies are corrupt, suicide is way up. But I know my story. I know I was riding my bike, and it's a white guy that knows this to be so. I was riding my bike, and I was going to Gary, Indiana, and, and I looked over to the right. It was like a little, it, looked, it was like a expressway, but it was just like a long road and stuff, and then, you know, Gary, Indiana is like that or whatever, but this white guy was, you know, he know I said something to him, and I looked over to my right, and I seen the Tuskegee airplane in a, um, it was like in a, like a, like a field or whatever of, you know, like uh, trucks surrounded and stuff like that. But I seen it. So the Tuskegee Air men, and I would love to say women also, because I am a girl. Don't get it twisted. My name is Mary Lee. I'm Dash 20 Mary Lee. I've never been married. They trying to act like that. I'm not worth the little stupid ass SSI check that they give me that they want to label me crazy and shit. It ain't worth shit. I couldn't move if I wanted to. You understand what I'm saying? And they trying to steal that as I speak. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. They love to say motherfuckers is crazy. They crazy. You should have fucking stood up in fucking goddamn 2008. You should have gave me $2 million tax-free when I gave over my story in 1995 before I had an SSI check. You would have won the game then. You would have won it in 2008. You would have won it in 1973 when I stood up as a little girl. But all you want to do is see me lose, which means if I lose, we all lose. If I go broke, you go broke. If I fucking die, you die. You understand what I'm saying? If I, anything happened to me, it's going to happen to you. That white girl... She was full of shit. You understand what I'm saying? So I took $10, gave it to somebody, and told them to whoop her ass for setting me the fuck up. Because I, I cared about her, and I didn't want to do it and sit. And I stopped the fight. I'm not stopping it this time. I hope my higher power rained down bombs, whatever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? To teach you crackers a lesson. Because y'all motherfucking time is up. Real talk. And with that, this is what I'm going to do. This is Mary Lee. Peace, bitch.